let me tell you, I love these food thermos because they keep my food warm for so long and they're so handy when I have to go like birthday parties or events and I need my food. And I have no idea what I would do without them, to be honest. It was such a beautiful day at La Jolla Shores and there was like a birthday party, so I knew that there wasn't gonna be any food that I could eat, so I brought my own. And there's my sister eating wings and things chicken, along with a bunch of seed oils. Okay, hear me out. Crock pot liners. This will be my first time trying them. I'm thinking that I'm going to marinate the chicken in these crock pot liners and kind of just like tie them up. And then when I am ready to cook them and I have all my veggies chopped, then I'll just untie it, put it in the crock pot, and then put the veggies on top, and then I'm done. Can you see it? ECS is line, cook, easy clean. And I mean like, you guys saw me clean. You guys saw me clean last video. And honestly, that's that's tiring. The pots of the slow cookers, they're really heavy and they're kind of hard to clean, so. But yeah, we'll see how that works. The seasoning is literally so good. It has no sugar in it and I bought it with a pack of variety that also had no sugar. But I will put in the description each seasoning that I use as well as how much I used of it and I'll put it on the screen too so you could just screenshot or you can copy paste from the description below. Now I'm making the next bowl of seasoning with that seasoning that I mentioned earlier. It has like a sweet tone to it. It's just really good. I don't know what's in it. It's a Greek seasoning. It's fabulous. I don't know. I keep buying it. Now I'm taking the crock pot liner, seeing if it fits, which it does. And then I go ahead and put the chicken, some oil. Then I start to season it. And then I rub that seasoning in really good. And then I just kind of take it out of the pot and I wrap it and tie it and leave it in the fridge overnight so that it can marinate a little longer. And I find it really convenient because then I'm hoping that the next day I just pop it in the crock pot when I'm ready to cook it. Now we're just gonna repeat the same process we did to the last bowl, except, I don't know if you noticed, I totally forgot to put a crock pot liner, so then I had to transfer the chicken into the bag. It's okay, we're learning here. <laughs> And now I am chopping up some garlic for the third dish. And that third dish has the coconut aminos and the umami seasoning. And now we have all three chickens prepared, ready, and marinated for the next day. I just ordered a second crock pot. You guys remember my last crock pot where it didn't fit all of the vegetables? I'm not gonna use that one, so I got a second big one. Here are the vegetables for one of the dishes. My beautiful friend Kiara decided to join me and help me chop veggies, oh, so yeah, she was away. trying to learn the veggie chopper. Okay, period. Got it. <laughs> I decided to use the Instant Pot because I wanted to get used to the whole high pressure mechanism that it has and also the instant part of it where it cooks food quickly, so we just tried it. Let's do poultry, but let's do this. Oh, wait, wait. Poultry, mm -hmm. low pressure, three minutes. Unfortunately, I did not buy enough vegetables because this was supposed to be enough for two crock pot bowls, but it definitely was not enough and I seriously lacked fiber. Oh, did you just get this? It's a new crock pot. I don't even have one. Do you want one? What? <laughs> Why would it? You just got this one. No, I have one. If you've watched all of my other videos, then you probably already know that this is like my fifth crock pot. Why? But why do you need... Wait, why did you just get a new one if you already have one? Because this fits more. Are I you know. being so for real? But it's all for like my health, you know? It's not because oh, I Oh girl, just... yeah. I mean, you don't eat out. This, you know how much money people spend on eating out? At least $100 a day. A day? One meal is 40 bucks. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Plus snacks. 
was drooling so <laughs> Now I have two eight quart crock pots that I can fill with veggies and chicken and that is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just prepping them and putting all the vegetables in there. Obviously you can see that it is not enough vegetables and I'm kind of panicking but it's fine. And now I'm just gonna put it on four hours on high for each of the dishes. Already? Mm -hmm. This actually cooked pretty nicely. The vegetables were a little mushy, but the chicken was cooked all the way. It didn't fall off the bone like how it does with the slow cooker, but it was still good. And this is why you don't wait last minute to meal prep because it is 10, almost 10 p.m. And I am waiting for the crock pot to finish. I usually don't like doing this. I rather, I rather do it on a Saturday. Now I have to wait another 15 minutes and I'm ready to go to bed. But you know, some weekends are really busy, but now that I know that the Instant Pot makes food so instantly, I think I'm gonna start using that more. Alrighty, so the four hours was done. However, my chicken was undercooked. I think because of the volume of the food, four hours on high is just not enough. It has to be either six hours on high or on low for eight or 10 hours. So I woke up at 6 a.m. the next morning because I let it cook overnight for about eight hours on low because I rather have overcooked chicken than undercooked chicken. And obviously I'm feeling pretty defeated at this point and tired because one, I didn't have enough vegetables for this meal prep. Two, I I waited too long and three it was whatever <sighs> i'm actually struggling just a little bit because i've added more chicken to my diet because more protein means that i'm going to be less hungry ever since i upped the chicken on my dishes i think i lowered on the vegetables which is really not good because less vegetables means less fiber and then less fiber means like more struggle with constipation because fiber is good but i totally forgot that i take psyllium husk it's basically a fiber supplement and the psyllium husk if you take it like a tablespoon before your breakfast and lunch it'll actually make you feel more full and you'll like be satisfied in regards to like bowel movements i'm trying to get consistent bowel movements i still haven't got them yet i was able to like a month ago not even a month ago two months ago and then i fell off the wagon and I had a lot of bread and things went bad. So next week's meal prep is probably gonna be less chicken, more veggies. And then I'm gonna start doing psyllium husk before breakfast and lunch. Today was the first time I took psyllium husk three times today. I'm hoping tomorrow I'll have a fat bowel movement because that's the goal here, y'all. Like you guys are watching this because you're struggling. You're struggling to poop, okay? It's okay. A lot of people struggle to poop because of what they eat. It's because we don't eat enough fiber. But yeah, that's the plan, Stan.